I think it's, it's his hardest fight, no question. A lot of people might say Mike Tyson is old. You know, people saw him walking with the cane not too long ago. A, a lot of things, right? And Mike Tyson is old. He's like 50-something. He's close to being 60, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be like a good, good fight. Because, you know, Mike Tyson was at the highest level. Like He just knows things in, in the boxing ring. Like, he's just going to know. And it looks like he still has that power. And he has somewhat of speed. Like, have you seen his videos? Like, I know they're kind of edited. But uh, he looks decent. Like, they're going to be talking shit to each other, probably probably in press conference i can hear mike tyson just calling him like white boy and that he's trash like and just going in on jake paul because they, it's part of the fight game and and i'm pretty sure mike tyson is going to want to fuck with jake paul and he's going to want to beat his ass like there's just no doubt and that's why i think this fight's going to be very very hard for jake paul jake paul versus mike tyson that got announced i think a week ago or a week and a half ago um he just got done beating some some guy that was uh not really a professional i mean he was a professional but i think he had like a part-time job doing something else so he wasn't like up there for sure but jay paul finished him and then he's pretty much uh ranked in the in the weight class that he fights in which i forgot what it is but then uh you know after like a week after that the fight announcement gets the fight gets announced with him and uh mike tyson jake paul versus mike tyson in dallas I believe it'll be at AT&T. Um, I don't think it'll be at the airline center, but I'm pretty sure it'll be AT&T, which is going to be crazy because that place can hold, I think, anywhere from 70 to 75,000 people. Um, and, and that can get real crazy. It, it gets loud. It's it's a huge place, and it's uh, it, it'll be an awesome atmosphere if it's there, which I think it is. And a lot of people want to go see Mike Tyson. You know, there's a lot of people that I've spoke to that are a little bit older than me and they were like, bro, you know, in my era or my time, I wish that we would have got to see Mike Tyson. And now X amount of years later, he's back in the ring. He's right here in, in, in Dallas, Texas. So a lot of people are going to go watch him and, and fight. And and I want to talk about Jake Paul for a moment before we talk about, like, you know, the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight. But, you know, Jake Paul has put himself, you know, not put himself, but he has keep he has kept showing us you know, that he's taking boxing serious. Like he wants to be a boxer, and that's what he wants to pursue. Like he just wants to go and be a boxer. And I think that's pretty cool because, you know, the internet has gave him, like, the hardest time for years. And some of it, he deserves it, and some of it, he doesn't. But he's been getting, like, you know, just hate, constantly hate. He's, he gets hate all, like crazy. And, and to go out and keep focus on his training, keep fighting, keep winning, I mean, he lost to Tommy, but, you know, he's fought Anderson Silva. He's beat Tommy Fury. I mean, he's fought Tommy Fury. He's fought uh, Tyrone Woodley twice, Ben Askren, you know, uh, Nate Robinson, I think, Anderson Silva. Uh, and then the last guy, I don't know the last uh, guy's name, and I don't think the guy before that either. But, you know, he's been winning, and, and he's been trying to work on himself and, and work on his resume, get better experience in there. And he keeps getting better. And now this fight against Mike Tyson, it's going to be his hardest fight yet. And I'll get to that in a second. But I'm, I'm happy and it's cool to see someone like Jake Paul, you know, just ignore all the hate and was like, you know what? I want to box. I'm going to keep boxing. I'm going to keep kicking ass. And he's doing it in a smart way. Like he's not going in there just fighting one of the best guys in boxing. Like he's fighting, you know, these not as hard opponents, also not easy. But he wants to go in there and see how good he looks against this guy. How good do I look against this guy? And slowly work his way up and uh, just kind of build his confidence in the ring and kind of get better in a fight scenario. And, I mean, he's getting to a point where he's a per – we can call Jake Paul a professional boxer. Like, that's what he is. And I and, and you can't take that away from, from him at all. Like, he's a professional boxer, and he's pretty good. Um, and I think it's funny, and I think it's pretty cool that he was able to do that and achieve that because everybody thought it was like one fight and, and that's it. I had two fights against Nate, oh, that's it. Tyrone Woodley, yeah, that's it. Ben Askren, yeah, that's it. You know, but then he starts fighting a little bit be like much better people. And people are like, oh, shit, this guy's pretty good. And and they're always making excuses. Fights are rigged, easy opponents, things like that. But, you know, when you're so early in your boxing career, you're going to be fighting cans. That's how it is. And everybody knows that, that knows boxing. Like, you know, early on, you're fighting cans, bro. So I think he's doing pretty good, and he's making a lot of money doing it. Um, and, uh, I mean, people are going to keep hating, but Jake Paul, you know, we need to give Jake Paul his flowers, bro. That's for sure. So, 
Um, well, I was going to say something else about Jake Paul. I forgot. But anyways, you know, he's fighting Mike Tyson. I think it's, it's his hardest fight. No question. Besides uh, his hardest fight before then was Tommy Fury. And, um, you know, a lot of people might say Mike Tyson is old. You know, people saw him walking with the cane not so long ago. Um, a, a lot of things, right? And Mike Tyson is old. He's like 50-something. He's close to being 60, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he hasn't fought since maybe 20, 30 years, something along those lines. I know he had an exhibition against uh, Roy Jones Jr., if I'm not mistaken, like uh, 2021, something like that. And uh, before that, like it was years since he's fought. So um, it's been a long time, you know, and, and, and for Mike Tyson, you know, he, he's not fighting someone that's like hard or, or very, very difficult. But it'll be like a good, good fight because, you know, Mike Tyson was at the highest level. And, you know, obviously, like, he just knows things in, in the boxing ring. Like, he's just going to know. And it looks like he still has that power, and he has somewhat of speed. Like, have you seen his videos? Like, I know they're kind of edited, but uh, he looks decent. And, you know, Mike Tyson is someone who's mentally, like, like he, he's mentally strong, like, and aggressive. Like, when he's in that fighting, like, mental state, he's a scary guy. And we make that video. He's like, you still want to fuck with me? And, he, and, you know, towards Jake Paul. And I was like, that's crazy, bro. Like, they're going to be talking shit to each other probably in press conference. I can hear Mike Tyson just calling him, like, white boy and that he's trash. Like, and just going in on Jake Paul because, they, you know, it's part of the fight game. And and I'm pretty sure Mike Tyson is going to want to fuck with Jake Paul. And he's going to want to beat his ass. Like, there's just no doubt. Like, this is... The first time that Mike Tyson gets to come back and they're like, hey, bro, you can go all in. You can go all out. Go all out. Everything you got. Get that uh that fire back. You get one. Of, you get a taste of that fire that he used to feel and that he talks about that. It would just like turn him on. Like at one point, like just think about fighting and beating someone's ass. And, and that's what Mike Tyson is. And that's why I think this fight's going to be very, very hard for Jake Paul. Um, and it's going to be good because it'll be his hardest test. Like I said, and, and Mike Tyson might not be, you know, the most adorable, might not be the the fastest compared to other guys that he could fight now, younger in their primes, things like that, right? So, you know, it, it'll be a step up. You know, a lot of people might give a shit, but this is going to be one of his toughest tests for Jake Paul. So it'll be exciting to see. Still debating if we'll go. I think we will. I don't know yet, though, but I would like to go just to check it out. But um, the fact that he's going to be at and it's going to be a lot of people and, you know, things get a little very, very, very hectic when that stuff happens. So, yeah, Jake Paul, man. Jake Paul's making a name for himself in the uh, in the boxing world, and, and it's pretty cool to see. So, oh, last thing about Jake Paul. Jake Paul, uh, don't compare Jake Paul to KSI, guys. You know, and this is just towards the KSI hey, fans, meat writers, whatever. But uh, KSI is not at Jake's level. Jake Paul has fought, like, I think this is his third fight with the Mike Tyson he's fine twice he's won twice um since uh what's his name since KSI's fucking sore loser loss against uh, Tommy Fury that was his last fight and and that was a few months ago almost almost reaching a year no no that was a few months ago I'm not even gonna say cap but this is uh, Jake Paul has fought twice since then and he's going on his third fight so don't don't compare KSI to, to Jake Paul like K Jake Paul will kill KSI in the ring just kill him. And uh, and I think it's funny that a lot of people think that uh, KSI has a chance with Jake Paul. I'm like, bro, Jake Paul constantly trains and is constantly fighting. Like, I bet Jake Paul's fighting IQ is a lot better than KSI. And there's a lot of things that Jake Paul probably does better than, than KSI. So I don't want to hear shit about KSI's boxing or about fighting Jake Paul. Because at this point, that fight probably doesn't need to happen. Because Jake Paul would just, you know, obliterate KSI. So, yeah. All right, let's, uh, last boxing topic. We'll talk 